Hi guys, welcome to the short video about the Sandboxy or Sandboxy Plus. I've already made a couple of videos about this software and if you don't know what it is, it is a Sandbox which you can run on, let's say, Windows 10, Windows 11. You can see that here you can download it free from Sandboxy-plus.com downloads. You can even find this thing on Wikipedia. Uh, this software has been uh, created by a company and this company stopped this or they went out of business. But before they shut it down, they made it uh, available to the public, made it open source and then somebody picked it up and developed it further on. And now it looks like it's even in a more stable uh, condition and we can download it. Uh, from a proper website, everything fully finished, fully working. I've tried it already for a couple of websites and it worked awesome. So if you are not aware of that sandbox, that's something which you can run on your Windows uh, 10, Windows 11, whatsoever. And it creates a protected environment where you can do almost everything and it won't damage your PC and of course this is especially interesting for websites which you don't know some websites which could be harmful especially when you do a lot of research like me you have to go to many many websites which you don't know then it's a huge plus when you can use something like that I can show you that how it works here you can download the thing. The one which I recommend usually and most people use is the Sandboxy Plus, the 64 bits version. It comes with all the options and when you select private use, it's for free. Of course, donations are highly appreciated. I mean, that's not from me. Uh, it's some other guy, but I think he is doing a great job. This is one of the biggest things which I have seen like regarding free software in 2022 that's something which everybody should have and install and use. I'm not going to show you the whole installation process but I'm going to show you how it works. I mean this is the sandboxy when you start it here and of course I'm already running it with uh, Chrome but what you have to do when you open that I mean you have different views uh, you can also uh, choose the simple view. I have the advanced view, but I mean, I'm not a pro, but I'm also not a beginner. So what you do, usually you right click on default box and then you run something like a program or what's also really interesting is to just use or start the default web browser. So you left click on default web browser and then it opens the web browser. Usually, of course, Google Chrome or so. And here we have it. I'm running it here already and what you can see the difference between a normal browser when we are approaching the outer edge of this browser especially here on top it will show a yellow border around the whole thing and this indicates that you're working in a sandbox uh, for example, if you download something like that, you click on that and it downloads and you can see here I have uh, already some downloads and when you click on that and say show in a folder, it will show normal explorer, but it's still in a protected environment. It's not on your normal hard drive unprotected and so it can't do any harm even when it looks like it's normal on your hard drive. I mean it's on your hard drive but it's not in the directory which it shows. And so what you can do for example you can then invoke the virus total and drag such a program here to this area and let it uh, check for viruses before you install and you can see here absolutely crazy what viruses or like malware is uh, in this PC cleaner that's insane it's called PC cleaner <laughs> yeah you definitely need a cleaner after that after you install that but not the PC cleaner so stay away from this thing but it's just to show how what you can do when you open a new page it will open it like uh, pretty much normal. Of course, at the beginning, you have to give all permissions and so on. Take some time, maybe two or three minutes to copy everything. But after that, you have everything. Of course, you can't do any changes, which will affect normal Chrome because you're only working on a copy of your uh, Google Chrome installation. But you can search whatever you want. You can do normal search here for Google and then it will show everything like normal. You can click on that. 
and you know whenever you click on something it won't do any harm because you are working here in a protected environment no matter what you do uh, that's really important and it can be very very helpful and save almost your life because you know when you are going to websites which you don't know you can catch virus or whatsoever and here you are fully protected i mean of course there are a lot of options i'm not going into that we have a lot of settings here which you can adjust it's definitely worth to look into that but during the setup they are asking you already a couple of things but you can even adjust uh, these things after that absolutely awesome definitely worth to install also worth to give donation if you have enough money and so this is it for the moment and i hope been able to help you a little bit with this video if you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below and i'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching see you next time